Welcome to IPCS family. IPCS is an organization which caters into industrial automation sector. We have been in this field for more than a decade. IPCS has its area of expertise in process automation, factory automation, machine automation, building management systems and academic solutions. We have our presence in major cities across South India. Also we have our global presence in countries like Middle East and Africa. Our major clientele includes public and private sector companies. We have been instrumental in completing their major projects. Over the years, IPCS has achieved a good growth rate. Our success credit to our prompt market presence, highly skilled employees and our customer relationships. Recently, we have successfully completed an automation solution for Kerala Water Authority. The coming video will take you through the various systems which we have used for the automation. Hi, I'm here at Trithala. This is a water treatment plant owned by Kerala Water Authority. It's a completely automated plant of 33 million litre capacity. Water treatment is vital to deliver safe and clean drinking water. Any contamination in water can cause critical impact on human well-being. Large-scale water treatment is a process that involves various stages. It starts with raw water pumping from river or similar reservoirs to the treatment plant. This water is fed to the aerator, then flash mixers for adding coagulants and neutralizing agents. After that, the water is transferred into the clarifiers, filter bed and later to storage tanks for distribution. This is the aeration section where the water is getting prepared for further process. At this stage, dissolved gases escapes and the oxygen content of water gets improved. Right after the aeration section, the water is fed into a channel where the flow rate is measured. Here we are using partial flume and ultrasonic level transmitter to measure the flow rate. Also there is a scale on the flume for manual measurement. From the same channel, the water samples are taken for determining the pH and turbidity rate of the inlet water. The transmitters have local display and also data communication with SCADA. I'm here at the testing lab now. Let's see what is happening here. There is an RTU panel and SCADA client station installed at the lab. The mentioned signals from the pH transmitter, turbidity transmitter and flow transmitter are terminated into this RTU panel. Water has to be prepared before feeding into the next stage. And this is done by mixing alum and lime into the raw water at the flash mixer. The amount that has to be added will be determined based on the measured pH, turbidity and flow rate. The SCADA client presents the measured data and also it enables the operator to control the alum lime mixing rates by controlling the alum lime valves. This SCADA works as a client to the main SCADA system. All this information can be accessed from main SCADA also. The water from the clarifier is fed to the filter bed for filtration. Twin bed filtration facility is installed here. Valve system controls inlet and outlet flow. The control signals from the valves is issued from the main SCADA and also the status can be monitored. The level sensors monitor the bed level and generates alarms for bed drain, chalking or loss of head condition. Flow measuring is done at the clear water outlet also. After filtration, the clear water quality is also measured using pH transmitter and turbidity transmitter. This water is then fed to the storage tanks. During this transfer, chlorine is added to make the water safe for public distribution. All the control signals and feedback signals from the field are terminated to this PLC panel, either directly or through RTU panel. Like the signals from the alum lime section, valve, level transmitters, flow, etc. SCADA enables the control of entire plant from a central control station. This SCADA operates as a server for the client SCADA in the lab section. All real-time data is presented on the screen with immediate updation. Historic reports, trend data, alarms, everything can be accessed. It acts as the user interface for automating operation of the entire plant. This is the main control room and the entire plant is getting controlled from here. Powering of valves, motors and all other major components are managed from the main MSP and DBs. APFC panels are installed to improve the power quality. Cable management is a vital part in designing a perfect operational plant. The control signal and power signal routing is done over cable trays and underground trenches. 
Similarly, valve and sensor calibration is another important part. The desired operation of valves and transmitters can only be achieved upon periodic calibration. After completion of commissioning, the operators should be trained for operating and maintaining the plant. Wiring diagrams, data sheets, manuals etc. will be provided and training will be given on each and every components in the system.